We use pheno testing in uh, the community in a project called Mission, Mission ABC. So this is a very simple project in we bringing the secondary care team. So this is doctors, nurses, physios, physiologists, dietitians, psychologists, out into GP practice and reviewing patient in a one-stop clinic. So it's a, a type of carousel clinic where patients will go round and see each of the healthcare professionals. Pheno testing was fundamental for each of those patients that came in to see us, both from asthma perspective, but also from COPD, but also from differential diagnosis. So those patients who didn't have a diagnosis of asthma and COPD, it enabled us to diagnose accurately those patients who did have asthma, but also in terms of those patients who had COPD, um, who didn't have COPD. So out of the 482 patients that we reviewed, the majority of those patients who came in with asthma, COPD or no diagnosis at all actually left with a completely different diagnosis. So it not only supported us in accurately diagnosing respiratory disease, but also to exclude respiratory disease. So for those patients who had reflux or had breathing pattern disorder or um, had other uh, sinal nasal uh, disease, so pheno testing not only helps support patients to, uh, or supports healthcare professionals to diagnose accurately respiratory disease, but also to exclude respiratory disease. The pheno niox device was used in the Mission ABC project because of its reliability, because it was easy to use, the visual display that it gave to patients to actually diagnose them with a condition and give them the figure to help diagnose them with a condition. Healthcare professionals, the feedback from using it, it was very timely um, and it was also cost effective. So NICE guidelines have endorsed using pheno testing, particularly in general practice. The key aspects I think for, for general practice is that does pheno save me time and does it save me money? And the answer is yes to both of them. Those practices that have used pheno, I think trying to take pheno off them once they've used it is really quite hard because they see the benefits that pheno testing brings, not just to their own clinical practice and their judgment of whether those patients have a respiratory condition or not, but also for the quality of care that it brings to patients. It's incredibly quick and easy to use, and it's easy to use within the whole of a, a clinical review, so within a, an asthma or a COPD review. So using pheno in general practice, education is um, absolutely fundamental. And there are key parts of pheno testing in general practice where education fits. Number one is the face-to-face -face education. It, you can never take away of actually face-to-face -face using the device and hands-on or working the device and actually seeing how simple it is uh, to use. Number two is really around the mentorship. So having a mentorship program in general practice to actually support nurses and doctors to use pheno testing as part of their daily routine and where that fits in within their daily consultation with their respiratory patients. And again, for them to see the benefits that pheno testing brings uh, within a clinical review. And then the last, the last key aspect is more around each GP practice supporting other GP practice. So this is more of a trainer trainer role to enable the sustainability. This may be that they're working within a hub, uh, local groups of GP practices working together or one larger GP practices supporting the smaller GP practices to enable them to, to support and utilize pheno more effectively.